friends. Again, I'm here to discuss interpersonal skill with creative problem solving attitude. And we have discussed that what is creativity, what is problem and what are the ways to solve. And many traits and characteristic also while solving the problem. And the last uh, uh, point I discussed is regarding the cognitive intelligence, then education experience, emotional intelligence, flexibility, decisiveness, all other. Let us discuss again in length the creative problem solving. That is, in other words, you can say creativity in problem solving. So, uh, you are aware of a problem or create one of your own. You identify causes of the problem. You find creative alternatives. You weigh the alternatives. You make the choice. You implement the choice. You evaluate whether you have made a sound choice or not. If your choice was unsound, you are faced with a new problem and the cycle repeats itself. That is to say that problem invites problem. So, you need to be very careful and that is why it is very important to identify the cause of the problem that is the root cause of the problem. And if you get the root cause of the problem, I am sure that you will get solution also. And for solution, you have to apply various strategy and here works the cognitive intelligence, cognitive education that is your mind, the creativity of your mind. Creativity is the ability to look for good ideas that can be put into action. Adaptive creativity involves improving an existing system whereas innovative creativity involves creating something new. Creative workers tend to have different intellectual and personality characteristics than their less creative counterparts. In general, creative people are more mentally flexible than others, which allows them to overcome the traditional way of looking at problems. But for this, you know, to be very new and very advanced and recent, you need to be very aware of the society, you need to well read, you need to be alert to know the people, the world, the society, the situation. Only then you may multiply the solutions for a problem. Creative thinking requires a broad background broad background of information, think broad background of information. What does it mean? This is what I said that you need to be alert. You need to know the world. You make yourself very alert. So, broad background of information including facts and observations. Alert means that observation you observe things very minutely it is not something that you are not bothering for anything this is how we learn how to excel in life through experiences creative workers tend to be bright rather than brilliant the key to creative intelligence is insight Creativity can stem from both fluid intelligence that is raw and crystallized that is accumulated intelligence. The emotional and other non-intellectual aspects of a person heavily influence creative problem solving. For example, creative people are frequently non-conformist and thrill seekers. And this is what in my previous lecture I said without risk you cannot do anything. But risk does not mean that you are about to jump in a black hole. You should have some idea of where you are going and what kind of result you may get after applying this solving a strategy. Creativity takes place when three components come together expertise, creative thinking skills 
and the right type of motivation. Yes, it means that you are not taking risk, you know, blindly. Because these three important aspect expertise, creative thinking skills and the right type of motivation very important. Creative thinking refers to being flexible and imaginative. Flexible and imaginative. Flexible means as I said that do not support your belief system that is there in your mind from ages. No, be flexible so that you can challenge the situation and imaginative means the criticality of your thinking, your brain. That is why cognitive intelligence and education very important. The right type of motivation refers to passion for the task and intrinsic motivation. Now four factors outside the person play a key role in fostering creativity. An environmental need, enough conflict and tension to put people on edge, encouragement from management and the presence of humor. Unless a person is working on a highly focused task, time pressures are likely to diminish creativity. So the environment where you work and what kind of environment you have in your life that is also very important. Methods of improving your creativity include concentrating intensely on the task at hand that is focused, very concentrate, overcoming traditional mental sets that is do not be uh, 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 focusing on your uh, old belief system, be creative, disciplining yourself to think laterally, conducting brainstorming sessions, borrowing creative ideas, challenging your ruts, establishing idea code, quotas, playing the roles of explorer, artist, judge and lawyer and taking a break. Sometimes break is also very important. Brainstorming has several variations including electronic brain, brainstorming in which people enter ideas into a computer. Brain writing is essentially solo brainstorming. The forced association technique requires problem solving by making associations between the properties of two objects. Brainstorming is something which forces you to come up with a solution, valid solution. To meet the criteria for solving a problem in a creative manner, the solution should resolve the declared problem in an original manner with the solution being reached independently. This idea generation strategy usually incorporates a team approach. This is owing to the fact that people inside the workplace are allowed to engage in the process of change in their search for creative solution. Coming to the more specific use of the term creative problem solving refers to the trademark Osborne Parnes process of creatively solving problem. What is this? The process was crafted by Dr. Sidney J. Parnes and Alex Osborne in 1950s. The difference between this process and other CPS that is creative problem solving a strategy is that there is utilization of both convergent and divergent thinking in the course of each process step and not only when coming up with ideas to fix the problem. So convergent and divergent both and this was developed by Dr. Sidney J. Parnis and Alex Osborne in 1950s. 
each step starts with divergent thinking and extensive search for multiple alternatives. After this comes convergent thinking that involves evaluating and selecting. This strategy is taught at the Creative Problem Solving Institute, the International Center for Studies in Creativity and the SERA Conference. It is particularly recognized as an important influence on the productive thinking model. So, this is not a myth, this is a fact and involved in the center, international center and even in an conference, in a conference. What is Osborne Parney's CPS? What are the models if we talk of Osborne Parney's CPS? First is linear. In the linear model, each of the six stages of the creative problem solving process is represented by a diamond shape. The shape signifies first generating or diverging options followed by a selection of a refreshed focus and then moving on. Thinking was in a straight line moving just one step at a time for the sake of maintaining order, channeling freedom. And this diamond shape model came out in 1970 and this is called linear model. Next is bubble model. In the 1990s, the diamond shapes changed into connected bubbles, bubbles you know the small puffy thing. Uh, the diamond shapes uh, changed into connected bubble representing attitude shifts towards directed and meaningful connectedness. Channeled freedom gets wider birth. There are three unique stages in the bubbles model. Visually, this indicates authorization to enter not solely at the first stage as was the case in 1970s model, but at any stage of the process. So, this is the difference between diamond model and the bubble model. The linear model has diamond shape with smoother edges and there are arrows to give directions. The three bubbles in the bubble model let you know exactly what you should do. This is the difference that linear model has diamond shape with smoother edges and there are arrows to give direction and three bubbles in a bubble model let you know exactly what you should do. Now, systematic, systematic or systemic. The thinking skill model is a system, thinking skill model. So, first is linear, the second is bubble, the third is thinking model is a system with many entry points determined by the task at hand, center hub or situation. The construction in this model is in agreement with our current web like interrelated view of the world. It depicts the distinctive core of each stage by renaming. While the bubbles and accordion diamond CPS model offer rational, logical approaches to CPS, providing an overt course of action, this model tells you what happens. It outlines the three key phases and charts the thinking process utilized for each. One can see the diamonds remain the three key focus point join in fluid color with the beginning point varying with the situational requirement. Well, there are certain other techniques also. Synatics, what is synatics? Synectics. Synectic is usually classified as a creative problem solving technique along with brainstorming and lateral thinking. Synectic. It comprises 
the brainstorming technique and lateral thinking technique. This problem solving methodology inspires thought process that the subject might not be aware of. The credit for developing the technique that had its beginnings in the 1950s in the Arthur D. Little invention design unit goes to George M. Prince and William J. J. Gordon. These are the pioneers. The process was gathered from tape recorder starting with audio with video coming later, recorded meetings, assessment of the outcomes and experiments with other methods of coping with the barriers to achievements in the meeting. The term synectics has its origin from Greek language and means the combining of different and supposedly irrelevant elements. See the combining that is why this, this model, this strategy synactic comprises brainstorming and lateral thinking model and origin from Greek which says that combining of different and supposedly ir irrelevant elements. Though synactics is a trademarked name, it has turned into a standard word for delineating creative problem solving that takes place in groups. This idea generation technique approaches problem solving and creativity in a rational manner, in a rational manner. Perhaps this is very important because this technique offers problem solving in a rational manner. In Gordon's opinion, synectic research has to do with three key assumptions. It is possible to describe and teach the creative process. When we talk of synactics, what Gordon says that it is possible to describe and teach the creative process. Invention processes in science and arts are analogous and propelled by the same psychic processes creativity at the level of individual and group is analogous. Now TRIS methodology, what is TRIS method methodology? TRIS or TIPS, theory of inventive problem solving that is TIPS, theory of inventive problem solving TRIS or TIPS was created by Zenerik Althusser and his co-workers. It is a Russian method of problem solving. This strategy is meant to cultivate the creation of patentable inventions. However, the technique is also helpful for developing non-product solutions. In the beginning following the invention of bulletproof glass a trade off happened. Though the glass would prevent the bullet from entering, the former would crack to such an extent that the vision of the pilot or driver behind the glass would be obscured. Triz has a considerable list of principles for setting trade offs. In this particular case, the pertinent principle was segmentation for which the solution was to create a huge pane of glass from a smaller panes. This was to ensure that the cracks were limited to the one small pane. If you are capable of articulating your trade off, the chances are high that TRIZ has methods to triumph over it that have proved successful with respect to other problems. Mind mapping, this creativity technique both reframes the situation and cultivates creativity. A mind map is a representation of concepts and idea 
in a graphical manner as the name is mind mapping. So, it is in a graphical manner. This visual thinking tool assist with a structuring information, assisting with better analysis, synthesis, comprehension, recall and engendering of new ideas. The power of the mind map is traceable to its simplicity. So, this is very useful when we talk of the creative problem solving mind mapping. Lateral thinking, lateral thinking is a manner of thinking that looks for a solution to an obstinate issue through unorthodox elements or methods that would usually be disregarded by logical thinking. To be more precise, lateral thinking may be defined as a way to solve problems by a cre creative or indirect approach utilizing reasoning that may not be obvious straight away or incorporating ideas that cannot be gathered by utilizing only conventional step by step logic means something experimental also needed. The term was coined by Edward de Bono, a foremost creativity practitioner in 1967. De Bono created two different models pertaining to creativity thinking namely parallel thinking and lateral thinking, parallel thinking and lateral thinking. The creativity practitioner created the two models over many years with mechanism of the mind with mechanism of mind is and book coming uh, out in print in 1969. So, he talks about this these models parallel thinking and the lateral thinking in his book mechanism of the mind which published in 1969. Parallel thinking has to do with pondering over an issue in a single a state of mind at a time as against confusing ourselves by attempting to process several issues differently in a single go. Coming back to lateral thinking, the concept makes you realize that coming up with breakthrough ideas does not necessarily have to spring from a shotgun effort or luck. The method provides a systematic and most importantly deliberate process for which the outcome is innovative thinking. Creative thinking is no talent, you have to keep in mind it is, it is no talent, but rather a learnable skill. Remember I mentioned that you have to be alert, you have to be aware of several things, you should be well read, so that your mind coins up and coins new ideas. So, creative thinking is a learnable skill. It empowers those who adopt it by strengthening their natural abilities. That is what is natural abilities? Your critical thinking, which enhances innovations and creativity, which in turn leads to a boost in efficiency and profit challenge, alternatives and provocation and movement are three examples of lateral thinking techniques. So, remember challenges, alternative, provocation and movement, these are the ch challenges of lateral thinking techniques. A scamper, the basis for a scamper is the belief that everything new in a variation of something already in existence. A scamper S C A M P E R is an acronym and each letter indicates a different method by which the person can toy around with the features of whatsoever it is that is challenging him or her to come out with new ideas. Well, the letters and their full forms uh, signifies S for substitute, C for combine, A for adapt, M for magnify, P for put to other uses, E for eliminate and R for rearrange. Uh, both are alternative. To utilize the scamper technique, 
start by stating the problem you wish to solve or the thought you wish to develop. What to substitute in my process of selling? How do I blend selling with other activities? What to copy or adapt the selling process of another person or company? What do I put more weight on or magnify when selling? What other uses can I, can, uh, I put my selling to? What do I eliminate or make easier in my process of selling? How do I change, reverse or reorder my manner of selling? With the help of these questions, you are pushed to a different viewpoint with respect to your problem and ultimately come up with original solution. Now, all that is left is to put your plan into action and showcase the result of your problem solving skill. Please follow the plan that you and your team have set out and be sure to follow up to ensure the work is complete. Whether at business or in your personal life, creative problem solving can help you to see aspects and solutions that you may never have realized when you only permitted your mind to move the conventional path. So, embrace it and till then, thank you. We shall meet again to discuss some more important aspects of interpersonal skill and moreover, I would say have faith in yourself. Thank you very much.